Hey Dad, if you're hearing this message, then it must mean that I wasn't able to make it back. No. My work as a soldier has asked the greatest sacrifice of me. <laughs> I'm sending this message with the hope that it might offer you some solace, <laughs> some understanding, <laughs> despite the pain that you must be burdening your heart. Oh, God, no. No. Here's something I forgot to share with you for a while, Dad. Mm. I love you. <laughs> Never did I say it enough while I had the chance. Oh, but it's something that has always resonated in my heart. Oh, no. In the face of the unknown, life in the military paints a very vivid picture for my childhood. <laughs> I remember how we used to camp out in the backyard. I was barely bigger than the tent at the time. And you would point out the stars, and you always told me they were brave soldiers from a far off world forever shining down on us. It was those nights that shaped my dream to serve our beloved country. Not only that, but the fishing trips. Those early mornings where you teach me how to cast a line, telling me that patience and focus would surely get me a catch. Well, they did. <laughs> the lessons and the fish alike. You taught me to be patient, to be resilient, and I carried those yeah. lessons all through my life, even in these final moments. Sometimes when we're on a mission, in the silence of night, I would look up at the stars and remember there's soldiers shining down on us. It provided comfort because it ri reminded me of home. It reminded me of you. It reminded me why I was fighting and what I was fighting for. I want you to remember these moments too, Dad. Remember the joy they brought us, the bond they forged between us, and I want you to find comfort in them rather than let my absence cloud our shared past. I hope this message brings you straight. Know this, if I could, I would have fought a hundred more battles just to get back home to you. But fortunately, life sometimes has different plans. My biggest regret is leaving you with this pain. All I can hope is that you will remember me with a smiling face and a brave heart. I chose these boots, this uniform, and I knew the risk. It was all because of the love for our nation that you nurtured in me. So please, Dad, don't mourn me. Celebrate me. I lived a life of honor I braved challenges, and I got a chance to love you. Uh. You are my hero, and if I'm remembered as half the man that you are, then my life has been a rousing success. Uh. I gotta sign off now, Dad. But one more time, and forever, I love you. <laughs> So that was Jeff's final message to you, and um, these were Jeff's belongings. I wanted to gift you these, and hope that brings you some sense of peace and closure. say this was my own dad. <laughs> yeah, he, he used to make that joke a lot. Name, of course. And the word proudly. And his dog tag. His name and everything. Hmm. <sighs> it's not the same. 
I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get something for these. Um, you know, you, you know how you can like get a box to put the flag in. Mm -hmm. box, yeah. Yeah. I'll get. I'm gonna get one that all these can go in with the flag, the hat, mm -hmm. the dog tags, everything. She truly did want you to have all of it. Um, and if I can't find one, I'll make one. I will. He, 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 I swear. He was a good craftsman, and I'm guessing he got it from you. <laughs> you know, uh, when he was little, he helped me make a like a little a, a bench, a little stool. Like, well, I I say he helped me make it. He made it himself. I helped him. Uh -huh. Um, I was little. It was like a little a little bench. Mm -hmm. And you could put your shoe on it, you know, put your foot up on it and shine your shoe. And, um, uh, I mean, I, you know, I did, I, you know, I cut the pieces and like we did kind of like a fancy lathe mm -hmm. to give it some edges, but, but he, he built that all himself and he was so proud. And I was too. He but, was very proud of the things he made. Oh, you're so good at it. So good at it. Oh. Compass. Yeah. Uh, I gave him this. This was mine. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of, uh, a lot of military types don't really have a good sense of direction. They don't, uh, they don't, you, you tell them where to go, they, you know, and they go there, they don't, you know. <laughs> um, I had to use this many times. One time we were down in a, in a ditch, and, um, When we came up out of the ditch, we had no idea where we were because there were, you know, you're in the desert. There's no landmarks. Mm -hmm. There's nothing where you'd say you, you can look for something and get it, see where you're at. There were, there was none of that. Yeah. So this will always point you home. It'll always, yeah. it'll always point you in the right direction. There we go, facing north right now. Yep. You always. He always had it on him, and yep. always made sure that you know that was your way of protecting yeah. him and us. It'll never let you down. Never did, never will. Him. on his 16th birthday he uh, he saw it in the store we went into an army navy store to get him some some pants right <laughs> even then you know he was and he saw this watch and uh, he wanted it so badly uh, yeah he liked it because because look it's uh you can see it's got the military time numbers there too. Yep. Glow in the dark watch face. Mm -hmm. um, so I went back and I got it, and this was his this was his sixteenth birthday present. <sighs> you know, I just I just can't fathom. I can't, I can't I can't comprehend that this watch is here, and he isn't. It's just not fair. It's just, it's not fair. I'm truly sorry, Mr. Hicks, but we wanted to gift you things. I hope it gives you closure. And we hope Thank you. that you will have a good Christmas. Oh, uh, I'm gonna celebrate. Celebrate. I'm gonna celebrate the fact that he was here. And we all 
got to spend time with him. But I also have to grieve because because he's not here and we'll, we'll never have those moments again. Merry Christmas. Thank you.